Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 11.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York. It is Friday, happy Aloha Friday as we say on the island, July the 20th, 2018. And this is the daily report for gold and silver, our weekend review. And what an interesting way to end the week. Gold closed substantially higher, up almost $8, $7.90 at $12.31.90. That, of course, is basis most active August contract. That is all due to a weakening U.S. dollar and statements made by Donald Trump yesterday. We'll talk about that in detail as we pull up our charts. Silver, very, very strong move, gaining about a full percentage at $15.55, a net gain of $0.15 cents on the day. Palladium and platinum all closing higher. In terms of other markets that we look at, the big mover, of course, was the dollar. The dollar losing almost three quarters of a percent in trading today, closing at 94.25, and that will be the focus of today's report. Now, in terms of the equities markets themselves, very small moves, fractional losses in the Dow, uh, 25,058, and that is off by about six points on the day. NASDAQ Composite down five points at 78.20, and the Standard & Poor's also trading fractionally lower, losing 2.66 points at 28.01. Traders, we are looking at a weekly candlestick chart, and you can see from this week's activity that although gold did close lower on the week, it closed well off of the intra-week lows that came in here. We'll see that on our daily chart, of course. Now, we did close higher today, substantially higher, up about $8 as the dollar fell out of bed. But before we look at a dollar chart, I do want to look at a daily chart of gold. We can see today's activity, this large green candle right here. And we closed up almost $8 on the day. And that's after hitting these lows this week that came in yesterday, roughly at 1210. Considering that the week started out fairly muted, this being Monday's candle here, and then really fell out of grace as it traded dramatically lower on Tuesday, which was followed on Wednesday with a lower high as well as a lower low. And then, of course, yesterday's activity taking us to the lowest trading point this week and this year at 1210. We have seen a pretty dynamic recovery today. Of course, this recovery that we're witnessing today is 100% due to dollar weakness. At the same time, it must be recognized that the majority of this price decline in gold was due to dollar strength. And therefore, the real question becomes whether or not we will see dollar strength or dollar weakness in the weeks to come. And traders, of course, we did implement a short position. We are currently short at 1227.60. That's basis August or 1232.60 basis October. And traders, we put that position on right after gold pricing broke on Tuesday right here. And this is the candle where we actually put our trade on. Of course, everything felt right when we were down about $15 yesterday up until statements made by President Trump regarding the Fed and dollar strength and interest rate hikes because that is what caused the dollar uh, to fall dramatically today. So in terms of our current short position, depending on how the dollar reacts Monday and Tuesday, we'll determine if we want to exit this trade early and take a small calculated loss or whether or not the dollar will return to its former mode, which was rally mode. For now, we'll maintain our short position and maintain our stop and act accordingly on Monday. And traders, speaking about the dollar, we can really see the dynamic fall today expressed in this red candle here. This is the dollar losing about three quarters of a percent. And what I find extremely noteworthy is the low of the day, which lines up precisely with the 50-day moving average. And I'm going to call this a critical level of support. If we see the dollar to continue to lose strength, it will break through the 50-day moving average. And that will be the first real indication that we could be going into a corrective phase in the dollar. If that's the case, that's going to be highly supportive of gold, and we will want to position ourselves on the long side of gold rather than the short side. 
So the real question becomes whether or not statements made by President Trump yesterday along with his tweets will have a long-lasting effect on strength or weakness of the U.S. dollar. Because while it's highly unlikely that he'll be able to in influence the Fed and Fed members, he could implement policies that would have effects on the U.S. dollar. And of course, we all know that gold's moves of most recent have been predicated by dollar strength or dollar weakness. In the case of recent moves, it has been dollar strength. We'll have to see how this unfolds next week. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.